Gotta be honest, guys. I'm kinda stumped on this one. What is going on guys, welcome to Gump's videos, my name is indeed Kyle Gumper, and welcome back to my WTF series reviews, which is where I review extremely bad movies that are either really good, just like funny because they're so bad, or they're just so bad that they make you want to pull your hair out and then punch an orphan. Do it. This is one of those few times where I'm really conflicted, <laughs> and I mean conflicted. I am reviewing 1980s The Toxic Avenger. This movie was an emotional roller coaster from beginning to end. And I mean like, I was raging, I was laughing, I was in shock, I cringed, I it was all over the place. Like I'm telling when I tell you, I did not know how to feel the entire time. Like if you watched me reacting to this movie. You would probably, I was a fucking psych patient. I was laughing, that I was cringing, that I was like, I was back and forth on these raw emotions because this is how insane this movie is. That's the best way I could really describe this movie. It's insane. It's, it's, it's fascinating how fucked up this movie is. It's, it's beyond fucked up. It's got the best and the worst parts of the 80s in caps into one. Like, if you wanted to have a time capsule of the 80s in one movie, in one movie, this movie would probably be the best, uh, best, you know, way to describe the 80s. All the good and all the bad. I hardly, like, am shocked when it comes to violence because you've basically seen it all, especially in, in my generation film and stuff like that. You see a lot of death and a lot of explosions and then, like, once you grew up watching the 80s stuff and, like, you got a lot of gore and stuff like that, there's hardly anything that really surprised you, and one of the few things that has surprised me was Game of Thrones and this. Uh, was it because it was so excruciating? Yes and no. Uh, it wasn't a torture scene or anything like that. In the beginning of the movie, the first 12 minutes alone are the most, like, no no pun intended in, in or anything like that, but this movie was so fucking hostile and toxic, like, like... Jesus Christ! These teenagers were established as these fucking psychopaths because they like they look at a newspaper clipping on their freaking on their locker in a gym with a hit, one killed in a hit and run, and then these two teenagers like, oh bro, that was cool, right? And they're fucking bragging about killing somebody in a hit and run. I was like. That's a red flag. Can't get much worse than that. It gets worse. There's like two girls and another guy who's even fucking crazier. He's like, oh, Jimmy, don't he's making me mad, Jimmy. Oh, like, oh, like, fucking crazy. They're in a car talking about what points are to get for hitting somebody. This is the shit you fucking say when you're playing GTA 5. This is like, hey, let's hit that fucking old lady for 50 points. Let's do it, baby boy. Boom! But this isn't a fucking movie. Like, in the real-world scenario, they have a picture of each scenario they have. They said, oh, Mexicans were like 15 points. Disabled were like 30 points. And something absurd. And they're like, oh my god, look, a 12-year-old child. Let's hit him. That's like, that's a double pointer for like 40, 50 points. I'm like, what the fuck? They're not really gonna do it. They fucking speed up. Hit the child. They're cheering. Yeah. And then the kid is still alive. The 12-year-old child is bleeding out. You see blood trial behind him. He's dragging himself. And he's like all pissed off. He's like, oh, he's not fucking dead. I'm so bad. And they're like, finish him. Finish him. He fucking throws the thing in reverse. And then you see his head get squished by a tire. What the fuck is that? Like, I'm honestly so Freaked out by that movie that that scene alone freaked the shit out of me as a person as a character I'm like what the fuck am I watching? And, like right away. I'm like this movie is trying to like get us to hate these people Just so we can we would be satisfied when they die I'm like they were an asshole to begin with the main character the guy who becomes the toxic Avenger who which they never really say in the movie until the very fucking end but, like, they were bullying the kid because he's disabled, really skinny, and stuff like that. They're calling him a retard, and they're, they're calling him a lot of bullshit. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up shit, guys. And then they eventually harass him 
to the point where, like, he gets freaked out, jumps out a fucking window, falls in a pit of toxic waste, and then everyone runs downstairs, sees him fall out of the barrel. He's burning alive. Everyone's sitting there. I'm talking about there's, like, 40, 50 people here, so this isn't just the toxic kids that were running over 12-year-olds. No, there's more people. Civilians. So... Yeah, the, your your normal citizen is sitting there pointing at him, laughing, and <laughs> and the whole meme of it's just a prank, bro. It, it, it really originated from this movie. No joke, because at, like he's sitting there screaming in agony and pain because he's burning alive because of the toxic waste that he just fucking fell in from his two story building. And then the one guy that I told you that was driving the car that was like Jimmy, like that that guy was like. He's pissing me off, man. He can't take a fucking joke. It's just a prank, bro. And I'm like, oh my god. I think he wasn't hugged enough as a child. There is a lot of times in this movie where I'm just like floored of how asinine and just like lack of heart there there is to this movie. There is no heart in this movie. It is so cringy and mean-spirited. Because there's no one really to root for. Yes, you're rooting for the Toxic Avenger. But, like, when it comes to his character, he's just going around killing people that are bad guys. And then he doesn't really get into the uh, revenge s sequence until, like, the last 15 minutes of the movie. There's no character arc with him. There really isn't. And then you got you go to this, this blind chick, stereotype, by the way, he finds a blind chick who can't see him, so she falls in love with him, whatever. There's a whole sequence with her. I, I can't even get into it, because this this was going to be a two-part series. I'm not even joking. I was actually going to release this as part one and then part two next week. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to get this into one review. I don't know how. There's so much to talk about. But he falls in love with this blind chick. There's no conflict there. They sleep in a tent, and then literally have to see corners them that's gonna be for a topic for later because there's something that genuinely just made me gasp of how dumb it was going back uh let's talk about a little bit about that blind chick this this comes into like one of my biggest problems with this movie they're in this burger joint uh and this there's this blind chick just sitting here having a burger a, a robbery is in progress and then yet again instead of just robbing the place like you know robbers would they start harassing people for no fucking reason like it's just so mean-spirited for no reason you're yeah i get it they're bad people they're robbing a burger joint or, or a taco place whatever the fuck it was you don't need any help out other than that they're robbers but this guy literally starts going joker on this one chick with a child, he's like, "Oh, you want me to blow the fucking child's brain off? You want me to blow your brain off?" Playing Russian roulette with a mother and and stuff like that, and, and, and then just starts going customer by customer. And this one guy, for some fucking reasons, like leave her alone. And then he gets shot in the chest and whatever. But the blind chick is there, and the leader of the group sees a blind chick, right? It, they're not, at this point, they're not really getting the money. I mean, there's one guy getting the money. But these other guys are just fucking messing around doing Jack Jiggly shit and just like, hey, let's harass the customers because they're, they're not going to be scarred enough. Let, let's, let's, let's make our deaths mean, really mean something, please. Because clearly when we die, you need to be cheering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking bullshit. But whatever. This, the leader looks at this blind chick, says, wow, you're hot. And then he starts making fun of her for being blind and then tries to rape her, the dog starts freaking the fuck out, like her assistant dog, shoots the fucking dog, and then the dog literally slides, I'm talking about, the shotgun blast literally shot him across the freaking room, and then you see him still breathing, he's like crying, he's moaning, I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is more graphic than John Wick, and then he pr proceeds to like, pull her pants down, get ready to get all freaky, and then Toxic Avenger shows up, oh my god, my biggest problem with this movie that it's trying too hard to be rated R. It's like, it wants you to hate these characters so their death is, like, gives you a cheer, gives you a sense of, like, optimism, a sense of hope. It, it's just unwatchable in those scenes. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, that's not necessary. Like, in Game of Thrones, when the, those scenes happen, they all allude to something meaningful, allude to something bigger. 
This, they make you watch this hard to watch shit. Just so Toxic Avenger can come in five minutes later and literally, literally wreck house. Literally just wreck house. There's some performances that are so dull. Like, hysterically dull. And then there's... A lot of the times, they're so over the top. Like, I feel like they're trying to make this bad that it's so good. Like, in the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought that this was supposed to be a purposeful comedy. Because they're like, oh, look at, look at this over the top acting and stuff like that. But no, I think for the most part, it was them actually trying to act. And it's fantastic how bad the acting is in this movie. It's so hostile, so over the top, and... The ADR is bad. Now, for you non-filmmakers out there who don't know what ADR is, basically, when you shoot on set, there tends to be sometimes a, a sound that's picked up in the mic, so they got to take out all the audio and then have the actor redub the lines. And you could tell a lot of these lines were dubbed. They don't even try to hide it with the Toxic Avenger because this he goes from a 90-pound kid, basically, to this... Full grown ass man with muscles. By the way, the Toxic Avenger is supposed to be all muscular and shit like that. You could, he's just got an arm like me that just happens to be a little bit bigger. Like he go, he went to the gym, but he's not a bodybuilder or anything like that. So there's nothing special with the design of him. But like, you can tell that it's not the same guy. It's just a random dude that you could tell that was dubbed in post. And it's hysterical. <laughs> it's funny what Toxic Waste does. I get it. It's a superhero movie. You got to suspend your disbelief. But not only did it make him freakishly taller, right, and freakishly strong and bulletproof and stuff like that, but it also fixed his speech impediment, made him not be able to wear glasses. He can do all that shit. And basically made him more intelligent. <sighs> but like the voice, I'm telling you, the voice is so different. Every time he spoke, it threw me off. He just threw me off. There's no, like, going back to what I said earlier, that there's no consequences in this movie. He is murdering people. I get it. Like, I hate the whole cliche where superheroes are not allowed to kill because then they're no better than the bad guys, blah, 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 whatever. We've seen it a million times, and it gets boring after a while. So it's fresh to see these kills. But, like, these kills are so gruesome and so easily avoided that it's crazy that people are praising this guy. And it's funny because now, like, in my mind, I just pieced one thing together. They bring up that the prisons are flooded, that there's no room. And it makes me think, not one time in this movie have we seen him arrest anybody. He kills everybody he fucking comes in contact with. Literally everybody. You forgot to pay your taxes? Oh, guess what, buddy? I'm going to fucking take your arm off and use it as a bat. And that's right. That actually happens. No, not that him uh, him fighting somebody because they didn't pay his taxes. No. And that burger joint that I was telling you about where the girl was about to get raped and he shot her dog? Yeah. He literally takes off that guy's arm, fucking rips it off, beats him in the head with it, and then proceeds to beat that, use that arm as a bat against all the other guys. <laughs> this movie is so crazy. I'm crying. I'm crying. So fucking. Like you see, you can't tell. What, you can't tell what I'm feeling because there's so much shit in this movie. Like nothing is done right. The story is fucking tense. It's simplistic. It's cardboard. The acting is so bad. <laughs> It's not even... The, oh, oh, here's the best part. The end of the movie. Whew, give me a minute. At the end of the movie, right? There was this fucking weird subplot that literally led up to just a death. That's every... All the story leads up to is, is to a death, and that's it. The, For some reason, the mayor is corrupt. They don't go into it. But he's sitting there bragging about him being corrupt and shit like that. He's like, this guy's ruining my business. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fucking horrible writing. Stupid conflict. So he starts paying people to kill him. Not working out so well. At the end of the movie, where they... Where this is where I was talking about. Where the, the Toxic Avenger and the blind chick were in a tent. And the, basically the entire town with tanks and shit. With bazookas and machine guns pointing at the tank. At the tent. 
he's like, come out with your hands up, and then stuff like that, and he's like, oh, oh, oh. They're about to kill him. Nobody knows. Not even the Toxic Avenger. Not the blind chick. Not the military. Not the town. No one knows that the mayor is corrupt. Okay? People are like, don't stop. Don't kill him. He saved us. You know, that whole spiel bullshit. Whatever. Then you got the kids. The guy from the burger joint. And some other people. Whatever. Then his mom, after fucking disowning him, comes in and is like, that's my son. Don't. Don't harm him! After, yeah, you probably broke his fucking heart. Whatever. That's why he's living in a dump right now. But whatever. They all jump in front. The military's like, listen, we were told to bring this guy in alive. Why are we listening to you again? You're not our boss. You're not my dad. But the guy still can't, continues to scream, fire, fire, fire. And like, they, 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 they aim the tanks at him. But then they start saying Kumail, whatever bullshit. They make a spiel saying how he saved the town, whatever. Like, he's not the bad guy. The military lowers their weapons, decides to break orders. That's court martial right there, you dumb fucks. Right? Right? And they're like, we're not going to do anything. And then literally, everyone's like, yeah! Like, and the Toxic Avenger literally starts walking towards the mayor. Remember, like I said, he doesn't know. He does not know that the mayor is corrupt. Neither does the military, or neither does the town. I can't stress that enough. No one knows he's corrupt. Okay? Okay. He goes up to the mayor, and he's like this, You got guts, pal! And then fucking shoves his hand in his stomach, and makes him look at his gut, and then he fucking falls and dies. Guess what? There's an awkward moment of silence. I'm like, dude, what the fuck did you just do? Why did you just kill him? He's gonna go to jail. They're gonna take him down. <laughs> Everyone cheers. <laughs> Everyone cheers. Yeah! <laughs> this movie's so fucking bad. It's the, <laughs> it's the laziest writing I've ever seen. It's the, oh god, it hurts. Oh god, I'm gonna get a headache. Oh god, it's so fantastic. It's fantastic. Like I'm so serious, guys. This movie. <laughs> it's an emotional roller coaster. Like, I'm sitting here laughing, I'm freaked the fuck out, I'm cringing, I don't know what to feel, but this movie, if you know where to find this movie, please watch it, but please, if you're over 21, grab a drink, grab a body, because you're going to need some emotional support, because god fucking damn it, this movie, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Five out of five stars, guys. Oh, God, I got a fucking headache. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Spicy. There's a time. There's a... I forgot, almost forgot. There's a time where there's an old lady walking up, trying to struggle across the street, whatever. You don't see the Toxic Avenger, but he's like... Boom! Oh, someone can help me. Then he helps her across the street. I'm like, he hit... He was hiding behind a bush. <laughs> I have a Twitter, comes underscore videos. Make sure you go spy on me there. Woo! Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and to see more content here. If you want to see this uh, review of the second, third, and fourth, and maybe the musical, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Later, guys.